My 2007 Honda Element still runs perfectly, but it doesn't have CarPlay, so I couldn't use the Park Car feature in Apple Maps. But then I discovered this action in the Shortcuts application. So I decided to build a couple of simple shortcuts using the Set Park Car action to help me easily mark my car location and then find it later in Apple Maps. This turns out to be really handy when I am in a large parking lot or at the airport. So let's see how we build these two simple shortcuts. The first thing we want to do before we start our shortcut process is to go to settings. Then let's scroll down here to maps. Here we are. And under location, let's set precise location. Let's make sure that's on so that our parked car is located as precisely as possible. Then let's make sure down here at the bottom of the main maps that our show parked car location is turned on. So now we're ready to build our shortcuts. So let's go ahead and open our shortcuts app. If you don't have this on your phone already, just go to the app store and search for Apple shortcuts to download it. It's free and it's from Apple. Let's go ahead and open this and we're going to make a new shortcut by selecting the plus sign in the upper right. Click on that. Let's go ahead and name this set part car. And our first action, I always like to make a comment. So I've already added the comment action to my favorites. So I can click on favorites and just choose comment. Now, in order to get it into my favorites, the way I do that is I'll just search for it. Comment. And then when I see the comment that I'm looking for, which is this one down here, I click on the little information circle and I'll click add to favorites. It's already in there so that's why it says undo. This shortcut uses the parked car action to set the location where we park. Make sure you enable this feature by going to settings then to maps. This was built on iOS 17.5.1 May 22nd, 2024. Okay, there we go. We have our comment. The next, I like to dismiss Siri and continue, which I also have in my favorites. So we'll just click on that. If we click on our little icon and hit show info, we can see what this does. Switches into the shortcuts app and continues to the next action. So if you call this shortcut by asking Siri to run it by saying, hey Siri, run EDC set part car or whatever you happen to name it, then what it will do is it'll start running it and it will dismiss Siri so that the focus now with the phone is on the shortcut. So next we want to ask for some input. I also have that in my favorites, ask for input. And it says ask for text with prompt so our prompt could be something like enter parked car details colon and then let's look at our little options circle there twirl that down and allow for multiple lines make sure that's on next let's choose from a menu and we'll find that we'll clear our favorites and we'll search our actions choose from menu and there it found it so we'll click on it and that adds it to our shortcut now if I'd like to include that one in our favorite another way we can do that is to tap here and then just click on the star and it adds it to our favorites okay so if we came up here and looked at our favorites you see that it's been added okay so what will we do with this choose from menu? Let's ask if we want to take a photo. Take photo, question mark. And then we'll change this one to yes. It's our first option.
There we go. So under our first option, we do want to take a photo. So let's find an action that takes a photo. Take photo. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and click on the information circle and I'm going to put it in our favorites. Then I'm going to close that and now I'm going to drag this because I want to make sure it doesn't go to the end of the shortcut but rather I want it to be under the little yes option. Okay, So we want to take one photo with our back camera and we want to make sure that our preview is on that way we can see our photo and decide whether to use it or to retake it. Okay, now once we've taken our photo, it's time to go ahead and set our park car location. So let's find that action. Set park car. And there it is. We'll go ahead and add it to our favorites. There we are. And like before, let's drag it and make sure it's under the yes option. Okay, and we want to set our parked car at our location. So let's go ahead and clear this variable. And then it substitutes the default, which is the current location. And when looking at our options, let's add note. And that note can be the input that we provided earlier when we asked for text. There we are. And then for the image, it can be the photo that we just took. So we can tap on that and select photo. Okay, now it doesn't show it there, but if you click on it, you can see that it's checked just to make sure. Okay, now under the no option, of course, we don't want to take a photo. We just want to set the parked car. So rather than retyping all of that again, I'm going to click here and I'm going to copy that action. Then I'm going to click on the no button and I'm going to paste it below and that puts it inside the no option. Then when we set our options here, we can leave our provided input as our text. But for an image, let's just clear that variable. So there's no photo included in that option. All right, then we end our menu. Now I'd like to have some confirmation that the shortcut is actually run. So let's go ahead and vibrate the device. Vibrate device. Here we are. Just going to tap on it because it can go at the end. And then all we have to do now is stop the shortcut. Stop the shortcut. And let's go ahead and add stop this shortcut to our favorites because we use that a lot. So we'll just add it to our favorites. Okay, there we go. Now we have our set park car location built. And if we want to add it to our home screen, we can just click up here, a little down arrow, and say add to home screen. And from there, we can pick an icon or we can actually choose a photo from our photos library or even take a photo. But for now, we'll just go ahead and use the icon that was there. And of course, we can name it anything we want. I'll grab the little space bar and scroll back and there's our name. All right, I'm not going to do that because I already have one in my home screen. So let's just go ahead and cancel that. All right, so we're done with that shortcut. And there we see it. So next, let's go ahead and build our show parked car shortcut. Okay, so here is our show parked car shortcut, the companion to the set parked car shortcut. <laughs> Try saying that fast. And my traditional comment, this shortcut uses the get parked car action to show the location where you park. If no parked car location is saved, it shows an alert. So you want to make sure you enable this feature by going to settings, then to maps, which we did earlier when we built our first shortcut. Okay, so as usual, we dismiss Siri and continue. And then we use the get parked car. And I just found that by searching get parked car. And there it is right there. 
So I just drag that into here. But I'm going to go ahead and cancel it since it's already had one there. Okay. And then I use this if statement to test this location to see if it has any value. So let's go ahead and show how that works. If. There we are. So I drug that up here. And then it automatically figured I wanted to use this action here as the criteria. And it put a little line between these two actions to show that they are connected. Then for condition, I just chose has any value like so. But we already have that. So let's go ahead and take that out. So if we do have a car location value, let's open that location and maps. So I just used open maps, open maps. And you want to make sure you use the open in maps and not some other open because you may have open notes or if you just search for open, let's go ahead and do that. Open. It's going to give you a bunch of different options. So you want to make sure you're opening the maps. I think I just passed it. There it is. Open in maps. So we open the car location and again, because I put this open underneath this if statement, it assumed I wanted to relate the two, and it did. And it gives us an option that we could use maybe Google Maps or some other application. I just left it on Maps, okay? Otherwise, meaning that the car location does not have a value, let's just show an alert. And that action is the show alert. There it is right there. And I just drug that over and put it in here, made sure it was underneath the otherwise. And I typed in park car not saved. I didn't want a title and I didn't need a cancel button. So I set them that way. Then we end our if statement. We vibrate the device like before and we stop the shortcut. So there we go. big day today. It's time to finally replace my Apple Watch. So I think I'm going to go with the Ultra 2. I'm here at the mall and ready to go inside and make the big purchase. But first, I'm going to use my parked car shortcut so I can find my car when I come out. Okay, let's set our parked car location. I'm going to tap on my set parked car. I do want to take a photo so I have a visual reference just in case the satellites are off a little bit, it really helps to capture your surroundings I found in the past. And we should be all set. Okay, success at the store, and now it's time to find our car. So we're gonna go ahead and show our parked car. And here we are. We'll get our details with the notes that we typed in, Altamont Mall Apple Store, and there's the photo that we took. Okay, so let's go find our car. We'll walk over to it. I think it's over here somewhere. able to get right up to it I think and bingo there's our car okay I hope this helps and we look forward to seeing you on the next one bye for now